Welcome back to the Shell Tender Show, folks. Today we are going over something pretty mind blowing and pretty substantial when it comes to Peregrino. Peregrino? Perig, pen, penguin? No. No. Uh, peri, per, Pilgrim Tips, Tricks, and Hats. I promise you that. This one really is. I gotta adjust the seat. This is just like. Oh, what's going on here? New shirt, too. Testing this out. Just got back to my hike. Anyways, back to the tip, trick, and hack. Right? Huh? Game changer right here. As is, it's a game changer. But let's take it one step further when we get back. Bring it! Well, folks, this, this is one of my secret weapons. My first two Caminos, this massager slash muscle roller saved my butt. Well, not necessarily my butt, but my, well, my glutes were involved, but it really, it just, it, it's such a game changer. I highly, highly, highly recommend you bring a muscle roll. I know, I know you're like, dude, already carrying so much. Do I really need to bring a muscle roll? You do. No, you don't. But you'll make a lot of friends if you do, I promise you that. This is one of a few pieces of my after trail recovery kit, if you will. But it also works for you know pre-trail treatment as well. Pre-trail treatment. So that. There's nothing this is gonna I should remind you. This is going to be a shorter episode today. I'm really trying to like you know, compress all this in knowledge, whatever, into like a ball of small ball. No, I'm trying to compress it to make, uh, to say more with less time. Okay, so let me get back to that. Oh, also, if this is your first time visiting the channel, this is what we do here. We do tips, tricks, and hacks, all Camino related. If you are not subscribed yet, subscribe and don't miss one. Because each one is sweet and faceless. No, you're, I promise you. We get a little wacky here, too. I'm, I'm not necessarily proud of that, but it does happen. So anyways, back to Muscle Roller. Um, why do you need this? Because at the end of the day, at... On the Camino, there are no hot tubs. There are no therapists. There are no... There's not just... It's just... You're going to be in a lot of pain. Not only that is, you know, you're, you're more apt to reach for ibuprofen and just different things that aren't necessarily good for you to have day in and day out. And somehow you would tell yourself it's good to have day in and out. You start referring to ibuprofen as Camino candy, too. This does happen. But if you can get away with not using any of that stuff and recovering naturally and, and better and faster... This is the way. This is one of the ways. And uh, what I would do, or what I did do, is I brought this in my backpack. How? How you say? Well, I it fits sideways inside my backpack. It's actually light. The bar on the inside is plastic. TSA friendly as well. However, uh, my first Camino, I did mail this with my sticks. It's a long story. If you, when you get to, I should probably, this is another little tip. If you know where you're going to be staying your first night in Saint-Jean or whatever Camino you're doing, Irun, if you know where you're staying um, and you want your sticks, your trekking poles, mail them to yourself. I'll do a future episode where I go more in depth on that. I'll give you actually the Spanish to use in the email maybe to see if they accept packages on behalf of the pilgrims. But I highly recommend if you're comfortable with your sticks and you like your sticks and you prefer your sticks, mail them to yourself. Inside that box, you can include an umbrella. You might also include this. You can also include a pocket knife. That's right. Perfect for cutting up chocolate, which you'll be doing. You don't need chocolate. You don't need chocolate now. Charlie. Anyways, I'm getting a little nutty here. Um, the roller, the muscle roller. Nothing is really more effective than a muscle roller after you've been hiking all day, and it feels so, so good. You can really reach deep tissue with this bad boy. As you can see, I am rolling out my quadriceps. You want to roll out the quadriceps. Sitting down, preferably, on the ground with your legs out front. You can stand up and do it too, but you really don't want your muscles tense. You want to completely relax as you're rolling them out. And this will immediately begin to relieve your sore muscles. It increases blood circulation, which will speed up recovery. You could use this before you hike as well. So many pilgrims don't stretch. I've never witnessed, in fact, I think I'm the only one that does stretch before the hike, but you can also roll out your muscles before the hike. This will warm them up. 
which means less chance of injury. Really dig into those calf muscles. Really dig into those calf muscles. Really dig into those calf muscles. Oh, oh, oh. Does have a semi flexible spindle design, meaning it's plastic. So it bends to the contours around the muscles for actual greater coverage. All in all, this size is kind of perfect for travel. You know, it's large enough to be effective on these muscles, but it's small enough to fit in your backpack, either on the outside of your backpack or on the inside of your backpack. And again, it's a really quick and easy way to make friends too. Everyone's going to be surrounding you as you're rolling out your muscles. If not out of curiosity, they're gonna to wanna to borrow it. And then you wanna work your way down to the calf, roll that out, And that feels wonderful. And then work your way to the front, to the tibialis anterior. Don't hit the bone, that can tend to hurt, but you just wanna roll out the tibialis. And if you have a friend, you can also do this on your back. Even roll out your forearms. You can hold it between your legs and roll out the forearms. If they are in fact bothering, if you're using trekking poles all day, they might be a little bit tense. So always good just to get the blood flowing anyways. Especially if you, even if you don't use trekking poles, sometimes your hands will go numb, believe it or not. I know, it is a thing though, trust me. So you can roll that out too and get the blood circulating inside your arms. You'll sleep better and you'll recover faster. You're gonna feel great the next day. But what is the hack? What is, I mean, how can you beat this? Well, folks, okay. Well, this is easy to pack, as I've mentioned. There is a workaround too if you don't wanna carry all of this with you. And if you don't wanna mail it to yourself, that's not an option. Now, I'm not sure how many other stick massagers or muscle rollers do this, but ours does. Grab the handle and just twist. Now, this is that plastic raw meat. Oops. But what I really wanted to do was... Got them. These, the rollers themselves are what I'm interested in. What you can do if you don't want to pack the entire stick Again, great for training. Maybe during your training hikes, use this before the training and after the training. But for the Camino itself, just grab four beads. That's all you need. Four of these. I mean, you could bring more, but I mean, if you want to keep the weight down, just four of them and throw them in your pack. Then, assuming you're using trekking poles, and if you aren't, you should be using trekking poles for a zillion of reasons which I will cover in a future episode. But for now, let's just assume you're a wise pilgrim and you're using trekking poles. These are mine. These are some black diamond uh, trekking poles. We'll actually go over the, look at this, there's a leaf. See? I ain't no poser. What you would do is release the top latch. Also, I should add for just another bonus tip, if your trekking poles do have latches on them and if you don't collapse your trekking poles at the end of the day, many don't, I don't. But if you're one of those people that use trekking poles off and on, which I also don't recommend, I, once you start using them, always use them. That way you'll never forget them. They're like part of your anatomy. But anyways, if they have latches like this, tape them. If you're not gonna collapse them, tape them because these can get them caught, caught on stuff and they can open up. These are actually better it, with locking than some other trekking poles. But if you get your trekking poles maybe in Saint-Jean or whatnot, and they maybe they're not as high quality, probably still good. Just tape this. Tape? You're gonna have tape on you? You should have tape on you. As you can see, this is another tip I'll add to this. This is duct tape. Not only does this mark this stick as mine, it's also a roll of tape. Well, it's not a roll of tape, but it's a small roll of tape that I've wound around here for emergencies. I can use this to tape up equipment, uh, tape up a rip. If I break a leg and need to make some type of uh, splint with the trekking poles, I have enough tape here to attach it to my, I know, I know what you're thinking. Like, dude, really? What's Boy Scout? I'm sorry. This is just, that's where it comes from. Anyways, this is where the tape comes from. Take this tape, tape this up. If you're not bringing tracking poles with you and you're going to be buying them there, take a pen, a writing utensil, lapis, polygraphal. Doesn't matter. Uh, take that and wrap tape around the pen. And then when you buy your sticks, go back to the hostel and take, transfer it from the pen to around your new sticks. Pro tip. Anyways, so back to the tip. Now we pull off the handle. Yes, it's okay to do this. In fact, you wanna do this because you wanna clean inside 
your trekking poles every now and then because stuff, dust gets in there, all types of stuff builds up in there. So now the handle's off, look at that. So you can do this at the end of each day. There you go. So now, and if your poles are collapsible, like this are telescopic. This is as small as mine get because of the string. It's a long story. It doesn't matter. This is enough to work with. And this is where same thing, same motion, same technique, roll out those muscles. And now you don't have to carry that extra stick. They're on your stick. Obviously you wouldn't leave them on here, turn them to your Ziploc or your backpack, whatever you're storing them after the fact, but this is going to get you a lot of mileage. No pun intended. Is that even a pun? I don't think tips, tricks, and hacks get much better than this. I came up with this the other day while I was on a mountain hiking, and I was actually filming a video, a YouTube short, which I do sometimes, and I was showing stretches. You'll never see it because it was a horrible video and I forgot my mic. And I was thinking, oh, I should have brought my massage roller, my muscle roller. And then I was thinking as I was hiking, I was like, no, oh, if only they combined muscle rollers with trekking falls, boom. So, yeah, ideas are born from the strangest of circumstances from the strangest of from from strange sir i i have ideas i have some ideas i have thoughts even so yes folks that's this week's tip trick and hack trekking pole muscle roller Learn it. No. Live it. if you've enjoyed today's tip trick and hack please subscribe to the channel uh there are only more to come as we pro as we He's run down the road as Michael Jackson once said. Which is very Camino Frances thematic. <laughs> Those who know, know. Those who don't know now will know. MJ. Please subscribe, like, and comment below. And especially give your own version of this. Our own, our thoughts maybe on the matter of after trail recovery. Yeah. If you have your own recovery tips. Again, I have a future episode where I'm covering a lot more of that. If you have your own, leave them in the comments below. Until next time. Until next time. Wish I could add some words of wisdom. Um, don't f into the wind. No. Um, uh, that's the best I got right now. Anyways, folks, until next time. Bye, Camino.